okay this is pixel lab and i will want to welcome you again and this is Nii amuda let's go over this quick one the design we're going to do is this particular design here okay i already imported it this is the design mm -hmm. now let's take the size of this design to get the size of this design this is what we're going to do now you go to remember you want to put it on a mock-up now go to the mock-up and uh, go to chrome go to chrome then you go to smart i'm, I'm sorry mock-up bro mock-up bro mock-up bro.com okay so when it loads go to the go to uh, i think packaging go to packaging is that okay now when you go to packaging you will see the first option is the cheese bag mock-up click on it then let's get the size let's get the size for the design scroll down you see the size 900 by 1280 uh, pixel now let's go and change it in pixel lab go to pixel lab now go to where you have image size go then put it the height is um, 900 900 the width is i'm sorry the 1280 that's the height then 900 for the width now this is the size okay so this is what we want to do now let's go now the first thing i want to do now is to get the background color the background color for this design is this go to where you have this option here i see it this particular option then click on color and i already use a gradient to get it is there already on my system i can just click on this and i will get it okay are you seeing it that is that is already there but if you want to get it manually this is what you're going to do click on the plus button then click on one side you see two two boxes like this click the first one and click on this one that look like a bucket then click on that that look like an injection it's a color picker go to the design and click on one of the color there you have pick it click on the other side click on the bucket click on the, the one that look like an injection it's a color picker click on the shin shin and then click ok you have picked the color is that ok then choose this option this option that look like a circle there i mean i mean this option this one that's the one you should choose <coughs> excuse me okay let's proceed okay now i've got in the background color what what's next now the next thing to do is to let me just write my sh, what's it called yummy shin shin okay yeah we'll spell yummy Yo. Sorry, change the text. Look at the text I'm going to be using. You can use any text that looks like what we have there. I'm using Montserrat Black Italis. That's what I'm using. Okay. Okay. Let me make it. put a white outline white outline and the outline be white go to stroke go to outline make it white increase it then go to color and choose choose um this color we have here choose it the orange color click on the plus button go to the color picker and choose the color that we have in the design use it okay Use padding. You see that the Y is not properly coming out. Use padding to take it out. Alright, so we are set. I don't want to waste much time with this. We are set. Now the next thing you're going to do, copy it, and then put the other word there. She she. A stylish font but 
it should not be so obvious in something let's see okay let me use this one she, she. now let's go and you put add background shadow let the shadow be very thick okay the same thing here let's add background shadow okay now we're almost done and the next thing let's get our image let's get our image and she she oh before then let's put okay let's put this um, shape there i will send it to us we can get it from uh where are you where are you where are you okay let's try and get it here you must know as a designer is that you need to organize yourself so that you know where a particular uh, your resources know where they are hiding so that you don't waste all the time what I'm going to get now I know where it is so I'm trying to I want to pick it out now I'm almost there I'm almost there I'll soon get it color here make it like this this circle the first color pick pick the one at the edge which is this the second color here this side pick this other color which is the yellow okay that's what we have there all right so we can also do something let's also crop it sorry let's crop it crop back let me get the picture of the lady and the shishi i'll go over to where i saved it photo room that is the lady okay so i'll crop out that watermark all right so this is it Get a shin shin now. A shin shin. The 
same place this is changing I have to still crop it and remove the watermark okay so I'm going to turn it like this and put it here are you seeing it and then I'm send it to the back are you seeing it I sent it to the back so that I cannot delete this hide this picture and then we are done the next thing we're going to put which I have not considered coming let me work on this image alright so the next thing um, what we're going to do now is this particular one done look at it all we have there is taste the phone as well so just come here and just um, let me just see this font just write taste the phone taste all right so can I, can I remove the outline go to stroke and disable it and then also go to shadow and disable it taste it with D T H E make sure it's white and then reduce the font size reduce the font and place it at the middle all right we're done with that the last thing we're going to be doing here is uh what is it the last thing we're going to be doing is taste and crumb chip get another shape right this one and then we'll change the color to this we're almost there change the color to this and then <coughs> I'm sorry so we'll put it right there to be close to the lady So let's put it um, tasty and crush. Come over here now and make it put it at the middle. Okay, so is it? Then we twist it a little. That's all. So with this, we are true with the particular design for this. The next video, I'm going to tell you how to put it on the mock-up. Welcome back. So right now, I'm going to save this image. Save as. Um, jpeg ultra okay save as jpeg ultra is that okay don't forget 
is your work don't forget to save as a project okay so shin let me open shin that's okay shin you can save it to whatever now let's go to chrome now remember we'll go to google chrome i told you i came here i told you i came here but okay i told you i came here in the first video but let me just show you again show you again go to packaging when you go to package you will see the first option is your shin shin mock-up then scroll down click upload click upload then you can browse your device and get your shin shin design is it right so and wait for it be patient for it to go going to show you this now because you you took the right measurement you see it fit inside the box so no need to do any correction you just screw down click crop and continue crop and continue once you click that just wait and be patient for your design to upload okay wait for it wait for it wait for it it's coming Make sure that it shows here before you download it. If it doesn't show, there is a problem. So wait for it. You can you can even change the background here. You can change the background here. But uh, I don't want to change the background. You can change the background here. You can change the background here. So you see, it did not it did not it did not it did not upload. Hmm? Click upload again. Go to your pixel app, get your image, and pause. Wait for it. Put it at the middle. Right. Then crop and continue. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's loading. Sometimes network will not allow it to load. Still loading. It's still loading. of network my network is very poor that's why okay this is our design it's loaded now it's loaded now you see how beautiful it is now you can either you can remove the background and put your own background in pixel app okay it's going to come out like this but i prefer let us just put a background uh, while learning just put a background oh this thing is slow what's happening Sorry, my phone is misbehaving this evening. So let's put the background and then after that we save. Alright, let's go and save it now. It's very simple. Just click on oh click on save, download, and wait for it to download. In a split second, depending on your network, your mock-up. That's why it should be that so you can download again. Download file again. Alright, this is our file now. It's ready to be displayed. So that's how we do it. Okay, so now go go to Pixel Lab. Hmm? Go to Pixel Lab phone and space okay it's okay we'll stop here we'll stop here you've gotten your, your result already 